with the backdrop being the fourth day of the Vans U.S. Open of Surfing today, Huntington Beach proclaimed September 20th as California Surfing Day. Surrounded by surfing legends, city council members, and many of the surfing community and the Huntington Beach International Surfing Museum, California State Senator Janet Wynn, Assemblyman Matthew Harper, along with Huntington Beach Mayor Mike Posey, made it official that from here on in and every year, September 20th will be that day. And there's no place to make this announcement better than here in Huntington Beach, where a century-long history of surfing and, those wa and, who and whose waters have witnessed the greatness of legends this week the world's greatest surfers have gathered here in Huntington Beach for the U.S. Open of Surfing. There's no doubt surfing has become a part of Huntington Beach identity and personally very proud to have helped and honor a sport that has given so much to our community. What started out as a laid-back luxury lobbying effort turned out to be another first for Surf City USA. Really, let's get Huntington Beach surfing royalty to the Sacramento Senate floor. So we came up with a list of about uh, five, which grew to 15, which maybe grew to 20, I don't know. But we went up with about 15 people, and uh, it was such a wonderful experience. And uh, when we saw the unanimous vote, I was really kind of floored. And Assemblyman and former Mayor Matthew Harper helped to bookend the deal, the SCR 122 state resolution. I'm very happy to carry uh, Senator Wynn's a California Surfing Day resolution uh, in the assembly, which got a uh, unanimous uh, vote there as well. And with that, signatures of all involved made permanent on the surfboard and logo that will bring even more attention toward another lobbying effort to make Huntington Beach the surfing village for the 2028 Olympics. Rock, rock and surf!